Okay. Whew. It's the weekend. Congrats. So we're going to deadlift, all right? So deadlift, we kind of want to build it up to a heavy three. Um, typically on Saturdays is kind of our bigger classes. Um, a lot of people just kind of, we got to fit a lot of people in such a condensed schedule. So it might be busy. If it is busy, meet a friend, um, say hi to an old friend, meet a new friend, share weights, right? It just makes it a lot easier on the setup to take down and all that stuff. So guys, let's go ahead and just agree to share weights today. And then it'll be enough time to do whatever we need, right? But with the deadlift, we want all rounds to be challenging we want all rounds to be challenging so let's not forget that right and with the deadlifts the super thing about this is that make sure that we're pushing the floor away with our legs versus pulling the bar with our arms if we pull the bar with our arms at any given point um the load is going to be um or the force is going to like go from our legs to our lower back and then that's how injury kind of happens or that's how we put ourselves at risk of injury right so it's not necessarily the deadlift it's the it's the movement while doing the move all right and so we just need to make sure that we're accountable for our movement so with this deadlift and then i'm just going to kind of get this angled here so you guys can kind of see uh, my lumbar support if i kind of stand next to the bar and i kind of do one of these things that's, if I do this without the bar, it's kind of normal. You see people like this all day, right? And so we wanna, we wanna not shy away from this position because we just think about keeping our back straight. And back straight is kind of a, a bad thing to think about. We wanna think our back neutral or our spine neutral. We want a neutral spine. We really don't want like a straight back, right? So we want a neutral spine. And so the neutral spine, it has curves in it, all right? Um, so from here, I release my hands, I drop my hips to the bar. So now I'm solid, I've got a great setup. I push my feet into the floor, I stand up. Fold, drop, stand. Right, so that's the deadlift, all right? Again, we gotta be really, really okay with just letting our chest go over the bar because we really want a neutral spine and we really don't care about a straight back, right? We care about a neutral spine. That's the most important thing with the deadlift. So we got so many rounds, so many reps of that, all the rounds, all the reps to heavy. Once we get done with that, we got a partner workout. You guys are buy-in on the bike, right? Just arms and feet moving at the same time. And then once you get done with that, you guys have a combination of movements. So you guys have burpees over the box. So burpee, jump over the box, burpee, oh. jump over the box. Perfect. Once we get done with that, right? Most likely, well, not most likely, this is one person working at a time attacking this rep scheme, all right? We got clean and jerk. So this will go from the ground to over our head, but it's one stop at the shoulder, right? So we'll have to get set up in somewhat of a deadlift position. Stop, drop, fold. Stop, drop, fold. Stop, drop, fold. Once we get done with that clean and jerk, right? Our last movement is the double unders. So, take our rope. That's like it's good. One jump, two revolutions. And then that's Saturday, guys. So, the workout. Buy in with the bike. Hit the burpee box jump overs. Clean and jerks, double unders. One person working at the time. Guys, have fun with this one. Go get it.